Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Vlog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you are doing well and today we're doing another video and we are be covering Star Wars Episode 9 cast has been announced. This is the news. Yes, StarWars.com. This is what we have all been waiting for. We have all wanted to know exactly who is going to be in this film. Not like it hasn't been leaked to high heaven. Not like we don't already know who's going to be in this film. But yes, this is what we've been looking forward to. Let's see what they have to say. Star Wars Episode 9 will begin filming at London's Pinewood Studios on August 1st, 2018. Woo, baby! We cannot wait for this film to get the ball rolling because we cannot wait for Episode 9. Anyone else going to see Episode 9? No? Oh. Okay. Well, anyway, I I'm still excited for Episode 9, so I, I hope I hope that there's some people out there. But let's see. Abrams returns to direct the final installment of Skyworks. Oh, JJ. I love JJ. JJ oh, JJ made a, a a somewhat good film in in uh, in the in the Force Awakens and then it was just destroyed. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. He's gonna be able to pick up the broken pieces of the hyperspace ram Star Wars franchise that that Ryan Johnson left in his wake. He's gonna be able to pick up all those pieces and put them back together again somehow, some way, and make a coherent story and make a coherent end to the trilogy. When when you watch it all in order, it won't make any sense whatsoever and won't work in continuity. But it's okay. It's okay. Let's see. Mm. Returning cast members include Daisy Ridley. Yes! Daisy Ridley. Yes, our Mary Sue. She is indeed our Mary Sue. That's right, MarySue.com. She is our Mary Sue. Just like Kathleen Kennedy is our Mary Sue, so is Daisy Ridley, and we are so excited to see her character. Hopefully, she'll get even more development. Hopefully, she actually gets a personality. Hopefully, she actually gets training in the Force. That would be so great. Yes! Adam Driver. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my... And they have... To, oh, they're right next to each other. Daisy Ridley, Adam Driver, Raylo. We want Raylo. I don't know if you're listening to me right now, but we want Raylo. We need Raylo. Raylo is Bay. Raylo is everything that there is in Star Wars. We want Raylo. We don't care about anything. We don't care about the Force. We don't care about you know good storytelling. All we want is Raylo. Raylo is what we want. John Boyega, yes. <laughs> we don't care, man. We we just don't care. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care, John. We don't care. But yes, John Boega, he is there. Oscar Isaac, oh, the coolest character that was just totally butchered by Holdo. Oh, man, Holdo. And you know what, Holdo? Holdo kind of sounds a little bit like Hodor, uh, but not as cool because Hodor, you know, at least he holds the door open and something tells me that Holdo would, would be offended by that personally. But Lupita Nyong'o. Love Lupita Nyong'o. No, no jokes there. Uh, Donald Gleason. Oh yes. Oh, the emasculated one. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see what kind of way he gets hit around by the Force in the next film. He doesn't have Snoke to hit him around, so you know, know that Raylo is gonna be. Oh, sorry, Raylo. Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but it makes sense that they would both hit around. Oh my goodness, that could be like their whole love. That the, the thing that sparks their love is that their their hate for Hux. You know, just you know, like smacking him around with the Force back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it's just like yeah, Raylo. Mmm, yes, Kelly Marie Tran. Kelly Marie Tran. Guys, Rose Tico. Rose Tico is back. I am a Tico path. I don't know if you are, but you should be if you're not. Rose Tico is back. Kelly Marie Tran, an amazing person. Nothing to bad to say about her at all because she does, she has done nothing wrong. But Rose Tico, mm, I hope that she gets more screen time and I hope that she doesn't ruse <laughs> she hopes she doesn't ruin one of the coolest story elements, one of the coolest <laughs> one of the coolest character arcs that even existed in the last Jedi which was Finn's arc of Finn being the hero. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. But no, Kelly Marie Tran, Rose Tico is back. Uh Junus, yes, Junus is back. Yes, oh my goodness, the best part of Solo a Star Wars story was Junus as Chewbacca. I'm not even lying. Chewbacca was hands down the most badass character in that entire film. Oh, I'm so excited for that. And Billy Lord. Billy Lord. Uh, joining the cast of Episode 9 are Naomi Aki and Richard E. Grant, who will be joined by veteran Star Wars actors Mark Hamill, Anthony Daniels, and Billy D. Williams, who will reprise his role as Lando Calrissian? Aren't those like old people? Aren't like most of those like old white people? We don't we don't need more of those. We don't need older white men in our films. I guess Billy D. Williams is the exception, but he's still old, so I guess I should still be angry. I I, I don't I don't know. Um. Oh, but you know what? I really hope. I really really hope they pull off the Lando. I don't know why. See, why couldn't they have made Donald Glover? Lando in this film. Why couldn't they just age Donald Glover just a little bit, just so that we could get that Pando Lando that we got in Solo once again? I don't know if Billy D. Williams is going to be able to pull that off, but I kind of hope they do. I really hope that J.J. takes it in that direction because that's, again, that's part of the canon now, right? Again, Solo Star Story is a part of the canon now, right, Story Group? So I, I guess that his character has to be like that, right? I guess that it has to be. I don't know. We'll see. All right. 
Uh, the role of Leo Ghana will once be again played by Carrie Fisher using previously unreleased footage shot for Star Wars The Force Awakens. I think that's the best way to do it. In all seriousness, just <laughs> dropping the facade for a second, I think that's the best thing to do. I don't think that using CGI to bring her back was a good idea. I think that using old footage or even reusing some footage that may have already been existed in The Last Jedi would have been, you know, in The Last Jedi or in The Force Awakens would have been good. But you know what? I think this might be the best course of action, you know, just to drop it for a second, because I really do think that's important. Again, our, rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. She was an amazing person, an amazing actress. Again, one of the best parts, you know, at least from The Force Awakens on, was one of the best parts of the Star Wars universe, and it's really sad to see that her character was just turned into Mary Poppins, but you know what? Maybe, just maybe, going back, maybe, just maybe, we'll get another Mary Poppins moment. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be so cool. Let's see, Abram says this, we desperately loved Carrie Fisher, so do we. Finding a truly satisfying conclusion to the Skywalker saga, because that's all that's about, killing the Skywalkers, ending that saga, so that way we can make new movies for newer audiences to expand it out to new audiences that want new stories and new people and representation. That's what we really want. No, we don't, we, we don't, we, we don't want white people. That's, that, that, that's, the last, that's the last thing anyone wants, because all I care about, all that the fans care about, is the race and gender of the lead character. So hopefully, hopefully JJ can give us that. We were never going to recast or use a CG character. Good to know that. Really good to know that. With the support and blessing from her daughter, Billy, we have found a way to honor Carrie's legacy and role as Leia in Episode 9 by using unseen footage we shot together in Episode 7. Cool. Composer John Williams, who scored every chapter in the Star Wars saga since 1977's A New Hope, will return for a galaxy far, far away with Episode 9. Very excited. I love John Williams, but... I mean, he's also just an old white man. Wouldn't this be the time? Wouldn't this just be the opportunity to try and reach out and bring more diversity into this film? I mean, hasn't John had enough chances already? Really? I don't know. And also, Star Wars Episode Now will be produced by the Mary Sue herself, Kathleen Kennedy. Yes. Yes. I'm so excited for this, guys. Kathleen Kennedy has been announced as a producer for Episode Nine. That means at this point, she is still a part of Lucasfilm. And I am just so happy. I am so happy. I'm so happy. J.J. Abrams and Michelle Rejwan. Fantastic. Oh, this is wonderful. And, and oh, wait, who's that at the very end? Oh, Victoria Mahoney. Wait, before, uh, before Ava Juvenet blocked me on Twitter, wasn't she the one that was promoted by her as being like the first African-American unit director, second unit director. Oh my goodness, history, guys, history. Man, this is, I'm sorry, guys, are y'all excited for this film as I am? I am just, I am so pumped for this. Release is scheduled for 2019, December 2019. Still no release date yet, still no name, but that doesn't matter. This is Star Wars, guys, and just because when they put Star Wars on a film, you know it's going to be quality, you know it's going to be good, and my God, this cast, this this production team especially, this is going to be amazing, guys. I am so Freaking excited. And guys, Raylo. Raylo. That's all I'm going to say. And also, we don't care. But anyway, guys, um, what are y'all's thoughts on this? Do you care? Or are you kind of like John Boyer? Or would you, do you just not care? Let, just let me know in the comments below whether you care about this casting or not. Do you think that you know that it was even necessary to release this casting announcement in the first place since pretty much every single name on here besides Kathleen Kennedy, whose name was kind of up in the air. But I think most of us assume that she, her name would at least be on episode 9 in some capacity. You know, and are you surprised by any of this? Please let me know in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. I greatly appreciate that. Have a great day. And as always, everyone... God bless.